Hey everybody, it's Vinti Mark and I am back with another video. As some of you already know, I have recently launched my clothing line called The Modest Fitting. And today's video is gonna be dedicated to doing a modesty review of the dresses that I am currently offering in this first collection. To start, I wanna take a look at the dress that I have called Hadassah. This is by far my most favorite dress and it is definitely a site uh, favorite as this is my most ordered dress. Um, the first and foremost thing that you're going to notice is that the floral print is beautiful. I think the, the watercolors that they selected against the cream kind of background oh, it just creates this overall look of just uh, effortless beauty. The dress, even on a hanger, is very beautiful, but once you put it on, it looks even that much more better. This dress comes in a size small to 3X. This dress features an adjustable neckline, which can be fastened into place with a safety pin or some other decorative pin, which gives you kind of control for how high or how low you want the neckline. It also has sleeves that are almost to the elbow, and it features a skirt that is uh, obviously a maxi lane. It's fully lined, and there are no slits, so you don't have to worry about any leg being exposed as you're walking and in motion. And this is also a dress that because of the way that it is constructed, it's, it transitions very easily into a maternity dress as well. It's very bump friendly. You notice that on me, the dress fits very long. Um, this is great for tall girls. I, just for reference, I'm only 5'3", um, but if you're a taller girl, this dress is gonna be perfect. If you're shorter like me, you're going to need to take this dress to the tailor, or if you know how to hem a, um, fix the hemline yourself, you're gonna adjust it for your height, which I have done with my own dress. Not the one that you're seeing now, but after the fact, I had it hemmed to my height, and so it's a perfect match. Moving right along into Delilah. This dress is a midi dress. Um, a lot of you guys reached out and asked me for midi, so this this will work for you regardless of height. This will be nice on a taller lady or a shorter girl, and you won't have to worry about getting it tailored to your height. It features ruffle detailing, and also you'll notice that the ruffles are tiered, and this dress comes in two different colors. The first one is a kind of pale yellow buttercream, and the other one is a cotton candy pink. Both of these colors I think look nice on a variety of skin complexions and so you shouldn't have much of an issue when it comes to that front. I think that the overall design, this is also another floral dress, but the floral print is a little bit different and I think it speaks to kind of a more girlish kind of femininity. I think that this would go really well for like a brunch date with some friends and it could even go nicely with um, a, a first or second kind of dinner date. Um, I wouldn't say that it's super formal, but it's more of a casual date that's just raised a notch, elevated just a little, and so it makes you look a little bit more put together but modest at the same time. One of the things that I really like about this dress is that the neckline is very high and it's elasticated so it's going to sit flush against your body. And so you won't have to worry about if you bend over or lean forward, so to speak, you won't have any gaping that would expose your chest. And so that's one of the features I really, really like about this one. This also is um, going to be, in the skirt portion, it's gonna be lined to the knee. If you're wanting a little bit more of a coverage as far as the liner go, you can simply add another uh, slip underneath the skirt and it'll give you a little bit more opaqueness. Moving right along to Sapphira, this dress comes in sizes small to large. This dress definitely speaks to class and a kind of delicate elegance. This is definitely something that you would definitely probably wear to a dinner date. I tend to dress in more dressier ways in general, so this, while it does look a little bit more formal, this would be an everyday dress for me. I would probably pair this with a flat, and if I'm really feeling fancy, I might add a head, a head wrap, or I just would put my hair up in a bun. Um, but either way, this dress is really, really pretty, and if you look closely, you'll see that from head to, from the top to the bottom, it's outfitted with eyelash lace. It features a beautifully kind of deep, kind of burgundy plum color, which looks nice against the skin. And like the Hadassah dress, this one is also long, and so if you're tall, this will be perfect for you. If you're a little shorter, you'll need to adjust the length of the dress to suit your height. So one of the things that I like about this most is that this also is fully lined, so you're not gonna worry about um, you know, if you go out into the sunshine and it's very, very bright outside, you're not gonna get the, the sunshine passing through the skirt and kind of exposing your legs. That's not gonna happen with this. It's a very uh, opaque liner, so that's really good. Same thing with the opaque liner on the bodice, so you're not gonna worry about your bra showing through. The only portion that is unlined is the sleeves, and I actually think that that's a nice detail because it creates a beautiful contrast. You see the lace against a solid, 
opaque background of the liner but then also you see the lace just against the color of your skin and it just highlights the delicate design of the lace and I think it just creates this overall beautiful look. Last but not least we're taking a look at what I'm calling Zipporah. The thing that I love about this dress is how black the blacks are. It looks so beautiful. I am not someone who typically wears black but I think that I'm starting to warm up to it because there's just something about the color black. It looks classy, it looks clean, it looks elegant. And I think that especially because this dress is full length, it, I think there's something about full length dresses that just kind of elevates and speaks to elegance. But in addition to the length, the colors, just all of it working together creates this really regal look. I love it. I think that the contrasting red gives a nice pop of color. It goes together really well. It's very cohesive. This too is fully lined in the bodice and in the skirt portion. There are no slits, so no legs showing while you're walking. The sleeves are a little bit sheer as they are unlined, which I think again adds to a nice kind of contrast between the opaque and sheer uh, aspects of the fabric. And then also in the back, you'll notice that at the top of the neck, it is a tie closure, so you can tie a nice little bow. I will say you want to bear in mind that this dress has a smocking across the bodice. As far as modesty goes, I'm just going to be totally honest. When you have a, a more, uh, when you have a smaller bust, wearing smocking in the bodice doesn't really make too much of a difference, but it definitely looks a little bit more um, eye catching if you're a little fuller in the bust area and you wear smocked, uh, a smocked bodice. So you wanna bear that in mind. I think that even still, even with this being a smocked bodice, because the color of it is black and there is also kind of contrasting colors that um, make up the fabric, it still kind of obscures the details of the body. And so just bear it in mind, use your discretion as you're picking what would be the most uh, modest option for you. But that is um, all in all the first collection of the modest fitting. I hope that you guys, for those who have already purchased, I hope that you love them. I love these dresses. I've kept them for myself and I love wearing them. I think my favorite is Hadassah and then number two would be Zipporah. Oh my gosh, those dresses, they're beautiful. But as always, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you next time.